Hey guys, this is Super Testnet. Today I just wanted to show you my latest invention, which is uh, called Hedgehog. Uh, Hedgehog is a protocol for uh, asynchronous layer two Bitcoin payments. So these are kind of like the Lightning Network. Um, this is a protocol similar to the Lightning Network in that it's an, a layer two for Bitcoin payments. Only um, in this one, unlike the Lightning Network, uh, two, the two parties don't have to both be online. It's asynchronous. Uh, one party can send the other party money when they're offline, or when the second party is offline. So I'm going to show you how it works, and to do that, uh, I'm going to show you first, and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. So if I'm going to follow the instructions that are on the screen here, enter Bob's pub key and revocation hash, which I'll do like that. And then it says to do the same thing over here. It says send some sats to this address and give the TX ID. To do that, I'm going to use um, mutiny net, uh, the, their faucet. I'm going to send 10,000 sats into this Bitcoin address. This is a multi-sig between the two um, parties. Okay, so I did it, and then it wants the uh, the TX ID. So the TX ID is this. So I'll put that in there. It says what's the what V out is it in? Well, let me go check. Uh, it happens to be V out zero. So I'll go back here. I say V out zero. And the amount was 10,000 sets. Uh, same thing over here, just say zero, 10,000 sets. And now, uh, this is Alice over here. Alice wants information uh, from Bob. So Bob's going to send her this little piece of information down here. It's okay. And great, the channel is funded. Um, so Alice, uh, bef you know, before uh, money went into this multi-sig, Alice should get this from Bob, which allows her to um, take the money out uh, if, you know, if she wants to. And now that the money is in there, um, well, I can, I can show you how they send, it, send the money back and forth. So I do hedgehog Alice send, and it asks, you know, it says, Alice, you've got 10,000 cents. How many do you want to send to Bob? Let's say she wants to do, I don't know, 6,000. So basically, it creates this little script in here. Uh, not script. It creates this little piece of text that has a payment for Bob in it, and I can do hedgehog Bob receive. Enter that, and the new balance is you know Alice has four thousand sats, Bob has six thousand sats, and the, they can they can keep doing this all day long. Like Bob did not have to be online. She could have sent him this in an email, and he could have come online later to uh, to type it in. Uh, but let's just do one more hedgehog dot Bob send. Uh, he will send at back Alice, I don't know, 3,000 sats. So he copies that, and we do hedgehog uh, Alice receive. Just like that. Now the new balance is Alice has 7,000 sats, Bob has 3,000. And at any time, either player can uh, close this channel. It can be like, uh, they can, well, it's all in a multi sig, so they could cooperatively close by just, you know, co signing to send the money according to the latest state, but there's also force closures. So if I do hedgehog.alice close, this is like a unilateral exit by Alice. So it broadcasts a pair of transactions. One of them is right here. And let me go broadcast this one on MutinyNet. So mutinynet.com slash tx slash push. This is their transaction broadcaster. I can broadcast that. And Alice has initiated a closure of this channel in the latest state. And uh, so the latest state, well, she puts most of the money into, uh, into another multi-sig between the two of them and a little dust output over here. Uh, and she's going to spend both of those after some blocks go by. So the, her, her cl channel closure transaction, her finalization is right here. And if she tries to broadcast this, it won't work right away because, you know, this says non-BIP 68 final. There's a time lock on this. She, in case this isn't the latest state, um, Bob has an opportunity. Bob has some time uh, wherein for a few blocks, he has got to, he's got the ability to like show that this is not the latest state, that, that, that she updated it to some new one. And uh, so while we wait for those blocks to go by, um, the transaction current, or the, this thing currently has two confirmations. I've got it to where it needs five. Uh, but while it's waiting for those confirmations, I can tell you a little bit how this works. Um, this uses something that uh, I invented, I think. I think I invented this. 
called a revocable connector. And I got the idea for revocable connectors from um, Barak, who uh, invented connectors, and from Lightning, which invented revocation scripts. Or uh, Lightning probably didn't invent revocation scripts, but, but they, they're used in Lightning, and that's where I learned about them. Um, so basically, uh, a revocation script looks like something like this. Alice can spend the money after you know some amount of blocks, or Bob can spend the money if he knows Alice's secret. Right? If, if Bob learns a certain secret created by Alice, um, he can just spend the money. Uh, so that's a revocable script. We use them in Lightning to make sure that like this is how Lightning penalty works. If you send a Lightning payment that's not you know the latest. Um, you know, then your uh, your your counterparty can st steal from you, not steal, but like do a justice transaction and take the money in the channel because they know the secret that you gave them when you revoked your old state. Um, so that's used in Lightning and it's also used in Hedgehog. But then the other thing we use is connector outputs, which were invented by Barack. Uh, and they allow, you know, if you've got some money in a multi-sig like we do here, a connector allows you to say, hey, I'm going to send some money from Alice to Bob but it only goes through if a certain UTXO exists because that UTXO is used as an input to the transaction. And this makes it so that you can't create UTXO B unless UTXO A exists because the transaction allowing you to do it uh, consumes UTXO A as an input. So our five blocks have gone by, so I can now finalize this uh, state. So this says non bip 68 final, but now it works. So I have dispersed the funds and so if we look at this uh, transaction here, it shows um, uh, this, this one. It sends the funds, uh, 7,000 go to uh, uh, Alice and 2,000 go to Bob. It's supposed to be 3,000, but Bob has to pay um, the fees here. He was the last person to send and the last person to send get, uh, pays the fees. So there were 500 sets to make this transaction happen, uh, which is the parent, and then another 500 sets uh, right here to make this transaction happen. So Bob, get, Bob paid the fee, and thus Alice gets 2,000, and Bob gets 3,000 minus you know, fees, a couple of transaction fees. But yeah, this is like an off-chain payment protocol, and uh, you can, two parties can go back and forth sending the money to each other. And it's just as fast as the Lightning Network, um, but it's different because you only need um, one party to be online. Uh, to, and, and that's great, that's cool. So I'm calling this protocol Hedgehog and uh, there's an implementation of it on my GitHub that you can ch test out. And it's, it's really neat, go check it out. Thanks, talk to you later.